Hi, I'm Sam Thurgood and welcome to my Two Minutes Parasha. In this week's Tidra of Ha'azinu, Moshe Rabbeinu begins by calling out to both the heavens and the earth. Ha'azinu ha'shamayim ve'adabeira, give ear heavens and I will daber speak. V'tishma ha'aretz and let the earth hear imrefi, the sayings of my mouth. And he's appealing to heaven with the word dibur, to speak, and earth with the word emor, to say. Our sages always tell us that dibur is a harsher, more straightforward expression, whereas amira, saying, is softer and gentler. The Ishbitzer Rebbe Rav Mordechai Yosef Laine explains that the heavens represents the intellect, the mind, discussing things in a theoretical context without any consideration for their emotional implications. When we are talking about the heavens, when we are talking about the things as they exist, as abstract theories, we talk about them as they are, we understand the reality without concern for what that means on a human level. But then you transition it, the Tishma Ha'aretz. The earth represents the heart, that is the feelings. The feelings that always are thirsty, just as the earth is thirsty for rain, the feelings which are thirsty for redemption. And to the feelings we speak softly, we speak gently, we take that human side into consideration, and we work how to integrate it in a human way. But we've seen that if either of those are given entirely free reign, you end up with something that is out of balance. Or if you try to mix it up, that also doesn't work. You try to explain something intellectually with all of the consideration and softness, you don't get clarity in the concept. You try to speak harshly to the emotions, well, this is the reality, this is what it is. That doesn't sit well with us, the heart is unable to grasp it. And that is why Moshe, who represented the mind and the intellect, he was the person of Torah, first put the heavens and the harsh speech, because Moshe's task was to clarify, as somebody says, facts don't care about your feelings. Whereas Yeshayahu, the prophet Isaiah, whose entire essence was a longing for redemption, when he gives a similar prophecy, he begins with the earth. First the earth, because he was a person ultimately based in feelings and in that softness of the emotions longing for connection to Hashem. Which one are you? Shabbat Shalom.